Hey guys, my name's Matt, and today we're going to talk about an ASCII table. So, just a little bit of background. An ASCII is the American Standard Code for Information Interchange. So, they've got this table that's got decimal, hexadecimal, binary, octal, and char. So, Basically what that is, is each of these uh, char or characters, um, they are associated with a number. They're also associated with the hexadecimal, binary, and octal references. So let's just see what that is in action. So please enter the string. All right. So we can see that a capital A is associated with 65 but the lowercase a is associated with a, a 97 even the space has a, a number assigned to it so each of the characters has its own so let's look at another one So, this capital T, 84, a lowercase t, 116. Even a new line, well, what's a new line? Uh, a new line is basically a return or pressing the enter key. Um, it's basically just dropping it down one line. So, but each of these letters or characters has an ASCII value associated with it. Well, let's look at the decimal side. So say we put in an 81. Well, that's a capital Q. Let's see. What about, yep, there you go. That's a lowercase Q. What if we did a larger one? Even your special characters have their own value. There's your tilde. That's an underscore. I mean, all... Pretty much everything has an ASCII value. Even your numbers have an ASCII value. Now, this is not, this is your character number, and this is your decimal number. This is associated with the decimal section, and this is associated with the character section, or the ASCII. So, I've got a cryptography cipher series coming up, and we will be using ASCII conversions pretty heavily. So just if you need to go back and look over it, you're more than welcome to. This program is very simple to write. I'm going to take just a minute to go through it pretty slowly. So if you would like to copy it down and use it, you're more than welcome to. So basically, you've got your main. This is in C++. So as you can tell from just the number, well, the uh, file name and extension. So you will need a the string header and the IO stream. Um, I set it up as a main menu so that I uh, through an infinite loop so that I could continuously go through for this example so I didn't have to keep bringing it back up. Now, the magic happens when it sends on this loop, sends it to this function. So it sends I equals zero goes through so in position zero sends that down to here it basically just assigns says this char i want to be an int and then assign that to a and then return it and then it loops there again so in position one go through and then same sort of idea with case two you've got your conversion you put in that, which there's no loop here, it's just one. Well, one integer. 
that puts it in here, converts it with, with this, and then returns it. So I really hope this has helped. And so please keep this in mind for the upcoming series. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.